Hi, so the book that I have chosen to read aloud today is called Same Sun Here by Silas House and Nelia Vaswani. Um, it was published in 2012. Um, the reason why I have chosen this book as a multicultural book is um, it says right here on the back, Mina and River have a lot in common. Fathers forced to work away from home to make ends meet. Grandmothers who mean the world to them and faithful dogs. But Mina is an Indian immigrant girl living in New York City's Chinatown, while River is a Kentucky miner's son. As Mina's family studies for citizenship exams and River's town faces devastating mountaintop removal, their friendship transacted entirely in letters opens their lives to the experiences of others under the same sun. So this book is automatically telling me that it doesn't matter where other people are from or how different they are from you, you can still communicate and be civil and be friends with them. So I will read the first page of this story to you. says, Dear River, I cannot tell from your name if you are a boy or a girl, so I will just write to you like you are a human being. You are the first human I know whose name means something, so I think maybe you are not from this country. My brother says you are. He says all people in Kentucky are Americans, not like in New York City, where most people are from everywhere in the world. My brother is 17 years old. He has a big smile and strong legs because he is a bike messenger. All the girls love him, which makes him very conceited. Personally, I don't think the girls would love him anymore if they had to pick his smelly socks up off the floor like I do.